wanted to kidnap you, he, he'd have to knock you out or subdue you. He, he can't just grab you and drag you down the halls if you can't an enterprise. If the guy wanted me dead, he would have killed me. But in your office? Look, Natalie had just left. My assistant was on her break. Oh, someone in another office would have heard something. It's like you said he could have hit me over the head or slit my throat. Jerry, don't even Please. talk like that. I'm sorry, but he, he didn't do those things. Tell us what happened. The guy put his hand over my mouth. He started to drag me to the door. He put me in a sleeper hold. So he was trying to knock you out. That's when I fought back. You get a look at the guy? Not really. He grabbed me from behind. Anything on his hands or a watch or tattoos? I was a little preoccupied with trying to get him off my back fast. Then he took off. Yeah. He punched me pretty good. Yeah. All I could see was stars, and then I drove over here on pure adrenaline. What did security do? I don't know. Jared, it's okay. No, but if Clint beefed up security... I didn't take the time to stop and chat. So you don't know if they saw anything? I just wanted to get to Natalie. Well, you're lucky I was at the hospital. I'm sorry, I scared you. I, I just, if he got to you or Jess... I don't think he'd press his luck today, not after you got away from him. But what if he did, Brody? You're not in any sort of shape to protect anybody. Okay, okay, okay. So, so what's our next move? Because this guy isn't hanging around and just leaving packages anymore. You know, he went after you. Who's he gonna go after next? Twinkle Toes. Dude, I have a name. Oh, Chad, I am just so sorry about all of this. I see, so, so Aqua Boy came back to give you a private lesson? Among other things. <laughs> don't tell me you're actually seeing this jump. Well, I don't think seeing is the word that I would use, actually. God, you're so disgusting. You douse the cabana with lighter food and I'm disgusting? Well, at least I maintain my self-respect I and mean, you can do better than this. Well, like you? No, sir, I'm taken. Oh, no, sir, that's right. You have only eyes for Taya, right? Yeah, that's right. Really? Well, then where did your betrothed run off to? Hey, Todd, don't forget my wedding invitation. Chad might be my uh, plus one. Did you hear me? I'm... We heard. This isn't how I wanted to tell you. You know, actually, I, I never really thought that I would, but then you found the book, and it's not Christian's. What? You're saying it's yours? Christian bought it for me when I told him you were coming to visit. Why? Why would he do that? Because he saw how scared I was, Dad, that you'd find out the truth, and he didn't think that I should keep living like that. <laughs> You're a good guy, Oliver. What does that mean? What? You're trying to help your roommate, I know. But this isn't the way to do it. Dad, this isn't about Chris. He's got to stand up like a man. And he's got to do it himself. I'm doing Nobody this can for do it. myself. What, saying that you're a homosexual? I was always afraid to. Chris and Layla are basically the first people that I've ever told. Dad, I'm gay. They know about this? Yeah, and they've been trying to help me ever since, even though I don't deserve it. Dad, I heard so many people pretending to be something that I'm not, but I can't pretend anymore. Don't you have anything to say? I, I know this is a shock. Layla. No, it's okay. But after it sinks in, You'll see Oliver is the same guy today as he was yesterday. You don't know anything about my son. I know he's the guy that people count on, that they can find. Enough! I know who Oliver is. No, Dad, you don't. But Mom does. What's he talking about, Barbara? Tell him, Mom. He won't listen to me, but he'll listen to you. Tell him the truth. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mrs. Rivera. I was hoping to catch you after classes. I'll be right back, you guys. You think that's good news or bad news? At least Marco's parents, I've learned not to get my hopes up. 
Frank Shin seem upset. And she came all the way down. Do you think she's finally seen the light? You look good. Thanks. College obviously agrees with you. Didn't seem right that I should miss your first day. How was it? Um, classes seem interesting. I like my professors so far. And were you able to get any housing money from the financial aid office? But I'll be out of Mrs. Bank soon. She asked you to leave? Well, she's been really nice. But um, I think I, I almost had enough money to rent a room somewhere. You can use this. Mom. No, it's nothing. It's just a little something that I squirreled away out of the household money. What was Dad going to say? Don't worry about that. He doesn't know you're here. I'm never going to get to come home again. Am I? <laughs>